What is good, YouTube babies? It's your girl, Hu Ming. I am back again with another video. In this video, I will be giving you guys a tattoo tour, period. I have about 17 tattoos, and I'm going to be showing y'all all, all of my tattoos. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get right to it, period. I'm still learning how to edit and do all this other stuff, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to incorporate my tattoos in the video, but I'm going to try to put them somewhere in the video so y'all can see my different tattoos, um, but I'm going to try to explain to y'all um, the tattoos I have. So the first one is this ox symbol. Okay, this is how I'm going to do it. Um, I got this tattoo, like, a couple months back. Um, it's a symbol of spirituality. I'm very spiritual, so I got that tattoo on my hand. The next tattoo is this one. It's lashes, cheetah print, a heart, and a lipstick container. And I got that tattoo because I really love makeup, beauty, all that good stuff. Period. Hmm. Um, I got this tattoo... I don't remember y'all all of my tattoos i got in different time spans and i'm a person that when i go get tattoos done i don't like to get just one or two tattoos baby i'm in there for a session you feel me honey i'm in there period um my next tattoo is this tattoo right here it says ming which is my name it's not my government name but it's my name it's like an alter ego and i also have this lipstick container right here once again i got it as a sister tattoo with my sister i have a sister she's older than me and we got matching tattoos she has the same exact tattoo and she has her name on hers um i got this tattoo recently as well i would say like a couple months back yeah then next i have this like really pimped out paintbrush a lot of people thought it was like a blowtorch a fire torch whatever but being that i'm an artist i just you know sat down and drew my own interpretation of a paintbrush and i got it tatted my ex from like years ago did it and it came out cool of course it looks different because it's been like a year since i got the tattoo but yeah y'all that's what the tattoo looks like and then the next tat i got is this right here this is survivor in chinese <clears throat> everybody been through different shit in their life so i decided to get that tattoo because i've survived a lot of shit in my life so yeah that is a tattoo that hits home for me i try to get tattoos that mean things because i don't want to just be getting drunk and just getting stupid as tattoo first of all i do not drink because drinking is ugh. but yeah y'all i try to get tattoos that mean some shit you feel me period my next tattoo is my name um i think that was one of the not the first tattoo i got but that tattoo, I got shortly after my first one. Um, you know, ain't not ain't on no cocky shit. I just decided to get my name. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of people have their name. Um, the next tattoo is on my hand right here. It says, I love nails. I'm a nail artist. So, I decided to get this tattoo on my hand. My cousin did it. Um, it's a little faded, but it's okay, whatever. It's still... You know, it's still, yeah. Yeah, y'all. I just got it because, like I said, I'm a nail artist and I wanted something nail related. That's what I was trying to say Um, just a second ago. Um, My next tattoo is this tattoo right here that is on my hand. I got this tattoo because I love music. Even as a kid, my dad would always drive me around in his trucks and stuff like that. Bumping music, Stevie Wonder, the oldies but goodies, all that. So, as I got older, I just, you know, still love music or whatever. So, I decided to get that tattoo on my hand, period. Um, Next, on my arm, I have my mom's name. Love you, mom. I got my mom. Like I said, I got my mom's name on my arm. Um, I didn't get her whole name. I got 
uh, um I got like her nickname or whatever because everybody calls her that freedom so yeah um I got that tattoo on my on my arm right here yeah and fun fact I was like the first child to get my mom's name I think I'm the only child that has my mom's name no I'm lying my brother has my mom's name but like I said fun fact period I'm the different one and got her name first so shout out to me if you don't get nothing else get your mother name like period that's that's the one that birthed y'all period so yeah yeah get her let's talk about it <laughs> um next we have my son's name um nobody really knows this but i was pregnant around 2018 and I lost my son, so I decided to honor him by, get, by getting his name on my arm. And I got his um, name, and I have his birthday. I had him on Thanksgiving of 2018. So, yeah. And... I'm gonna tell y'all, it was very, it was very painful at first. Like, I didn't, it was, I was just out of it. My mind was somewhere else. I couldn't see baby stuff. It was just a real hard time for me, but I've had time to cope and heal. So, yeah, I decided to honor my child and get his name. Okay, because period. Get your baby name, period. If you don't do shit else, get your mother name, get your baby's name, period. Um... And this is a recent tattoo. It is money in Chinese. Love money. I'm a cancer. I'm very ambitious. I'm a hustler. Like, I go get it. So, y'all, period, I decided to get this tattoo. And I'm not a traditional person, so <clears throat> I didn't want to just get a money sign. I wanted some exotic shit. You know what I'm saying? Some different shit. Because I'm different. So, why not be different? You feel me? Um. So, like I said, I ended up getting this tattoo, which symbolizes money and i love it and people ask me all the time what that say what that say because i got so many tattoos y'all that's in other languages like I, i'm gonna show y'all in a second but one of my other tattoos is in spanish and i'm gonna be honest y'all sometimes i be having to remember what the fuck it mean you feel me but i be like hold up okay it means that you know what i'm saying period and this is my very first tattoo. This was my tattoo that broke my tattoo virginity, y'all. Because, fun fact, another fun fact. I didn't plan to get tattooed. My cousins, they were getting tattooed. They asked me to come with them. I'm like, all right, bam. Same motherfucking less. Period. Boom. So we go in there. I ain't getting no tattoos. And they was like, don't be shy. Get a tattoo. I'm like, hmm okay so <laughs> i roll up with them and i ended up getting a tattoo and they say you know when you get one tattoo that one tattoo turned into more and here we are my one tattoo turned into 17 tattoos you feel me it's kind of addicted on the low and i feel like when people get tattoos they have a story to tell and baby i have a story to tell and i'm still telling it because i'm going to get more period Next, we have this tattoo. It says Adas. It is fearless in Spanish. Um, I got this tattoo because I've learned in life you have to be fearless. You can't be scared of nothing. Like, you have to just take life head on. So, I decided to get that tattoo. I love it. It's on my leg. Excuse the ashiness. Don't come for me because I ain't sent for y'all. But I love it. <clears throat> and... It's the red, it's like the traditional uh, tattoo ink color. And then I also have some red in it. Just to give it a little pop, period. Next, we have 555. Originally, I wanted to get it on my neck. But my tat gal was like, look, I'm going to let you know now, sis. That bitch hurt. Neck tats hurt. So I was like, all right, bet. I'm going to try to show a judgment. So I ended up getting it on my legs because I had already said I wanted, you know, to fill my legs up just a little bit. <clears throat> just to give it like that pretty girl, you know, sassy vibe, exotic shit, you know. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, I got 555 on my leg. I'm probably going to get some more angel numbers. Like the ones that really resonate with me, like change and money and all that. I honestly might get 888, y'all, because... All I really need is the money, period. Next, we have cheetah print. 
I love cheetah print. My sister loves cheetah print. She also has cheetah print on her as well. And I decided to get some cheetah print because why not? Cheetah print is like that, period. So I didn't get it filled in, but I still end up getting it on my leg. It is, it's on the upper part of my leg, like towards my thigh area. And she's giving. Even though she actually, she's still motherfucking what? Giving, period. Next we have this cupcake. It says dulce, that means sweet in Spanish. I got the I got the cupcake because I'm a sweet person. So I decided to get a cupcake that said sweet in Spanish. Once again, I did not want to get traditional word like sweet. Like that's weird, that's plain. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna get it in Spanish, period. <laughs> and yeah so that is all of the tattoos y'all um yeah that's all my tattoos i do plan to get some more but that is all i have for you guys today if you guys like this video if y'all want to see more videos from me make sure you do what like comment and subscribe i will see y'all my next video peace and love